Hello everyone, my name is Black, aka Blackjack413, or xBlackjack413x -X on YouTube, and I am here with a video today of the Minecraft multiplayer server World of Elden. In short, it's a hardcore uh, survival towny server in a way, <coughs> but it's got its own unique style of doing things. I've been playing on it for almost two years now, on and off, and as such I've ranked up a lot and I know most of what you have to do on this server to be successful, quote unquote. <clears throat> so first of all, like any towny, town based server and any server that's multiplayer almost, there is an economy and the currency on Elden is called trade bars and as you can see I have a quite a bit of trade bars right now. But you start out with nothing. So in this video I'll be telling you how to get your own set of trade bars and then use that to get your own land and also to buy other things like there are shops here in spawn but I'll get to those later so once you get money I mentioned just now that you can buy land with money <coughs> and once you get land then you get to rank up and everyone but peasants you start out as the rank peasant like that guy in the middle there, Michael. But right now, I am a prince because I own quite a lot of land and it's a city. But you start out as a peasant and then you rank up as you get more land. For example, you can buy land at first either in the wilderness by yourself or in a town somewhere because town owners can sell land to people. Everyone's typing periods now because I did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the city land ranks are in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find them here. City ranks, the minimum size of a plot you can buy in a town is a 10 by 10 tile ta or town plot, and that's 100 tiles. Then you get the title of villager, which is green, and then you get the ability to set your home, which is slash home. You do slash set home and then slash home to go back to your home but you can only use it once every 90 minutes and then once you get 400 tiles in the city which is four 10 by 10 plots <coughs> then you get ranked up to a commoner and then citizen commoner I think can make shops and villager you also get to use water buckets peasants can't use water buckets and then citizen I think you get lava bucket use and aristocrat you get the option to jail people if you can somehow get 3,600 tiles in a city, which is pretty difficult to do, actually. Then, if you would rather not go the city route and buy your own land in the wild, it's double the price. City land is usually 1,500 per 10 by 10 or 15 trade bars per tile, usually, whereas wilderness land is 30 per tile, so it'll be a little bit pricier. For 100, the gentry title, that is also green, just like villager. And then yeoman is 400. Nobleman is 1600, I think. Yeah, Prawler in the middle of there has Nobleman. That's a purple title. And you get Lava Bucket use. And then Baronet, which is 2500 tiles, you get Lava Bucket use and the Jail ability. But again, Wildland is not as hard to get, per se, but it's more expensive. Uh, if you have City Land and Wilderness Land, then these are for you. You get Surf, which is 100 City and 100 Wild Tiles, that is green. Trader is also green, I believe, although it might be yellow, I'm not sure. I don't think there are any of them right now. And then Merchant, which is yellow, 3600 City, 1600 Wild. And Marcus, which is 7200 City, 3600 Wild. These have better benefits than the other two as far as commands go. I think Merchant gets Jail and Marcus gets Slash Mute, so you can mute people that are being annoying in chat. Here's a guy. Hi there. Oh, he doesn't like me, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, now I think I should be moving on to how you actually get money and buy land and rank up in this server. The main way I've found to make money is by selling ores to shops. I'm running right now to the market so I can show you how to use shops. So anyway, the price of iron right now, iron ingots, you can sell them for eight trade bars a piece. So it's roughly two iron ingots per tile of land if you want to buy in the city. 
So that's like three stacks of iron if you want to do that. Hello, Diction. <coughs> and also you can sell other ores like diamonds and gold and redstone and basically every ore. Actually, I think every ore. And then also you can sell crops such as carrots and other food products like cooked beef. It's all depending on what town you're in. Each town will have different things that they sell or sell or buy in their shops. Spawn has basically everything. Ugh, I can't get out of this stupid fountain. It was a bad idea coming in here. But anyway, um, how to use the shops. There is a certain set of commands that you need to know if you want to use the shops. Ouch. <laughs> this shop is Owl's Market. That's probably a little too complicated for what I'm trying to tell you guys. Okay, here. Here's a decent one. Shop browse. What I typed there was slash shop browse. When you're in the vicinity of a shop, you type slash shop browse. <coughs> and that will show you a list of all of the items that the shop is selling. Well, this is just page one, so you can do slash shop browse two to see page two of what they're selling and buying. The prices in orange are what they're selling each item as and then the prices in green are what they're buying them at. So, let's say I want to buy... Wait, let's go back to browse 1. Selling iron at 9. Okay, so say I want to buy an iron ingot. Shop by iron 1. Oh, they're out of iron. Okay, then. Uh, I'll just buy coal. Slash shop by coal one. That'll give me a piece of coal. Now I can do whatever I want with this piece of coal. And it works the same way with slash shop sell coal one. And then I can sell it back. Obviously selling it back for less than I bought it for because that's how people make profit. But that was just to show you how the shop commands work. Now, it's good to pay attention to the fact that this is spawn and since the admins on the server don't want people screwing up the spawn. It is protected, so you can't destroy anything. So, before you actually start getting items, you have to go, I think it's 500 blocks out away from spawn. So, I'm going to do that now, and I will resume the recording when I get to that point. Alrighty, I am now approximately 500 blocks away from spawn. So, any second now, a message should be popping up on the screen telling me I can build. Yep. That little end of spawn notification shows that you are now out of spawn and you can build what you like. See, someone just laid a little random furnace and crafting table there. Someone's asking me a question. <coughs> May as well answer a question. I mean, I'm doing a how-to video anyway, so... Let's see. Oh. <laughs> I'm not an admin. I'm just doing this to help people out. So, dang, I keep getting asked questions. Anyway, I think that's it for my little tutorial. So, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Don't listen to Bob. I definitely have a life outside of this game. <laughs> uh, okay, so, yeah, that's about it from the tutorial part of this. I mean, really all you can do from here is build a little temporary peasant house, or build a house and then get it protected later, once you get the money for it. And, yeah, really the only shops open right now are at spawn, so you can sell all of your things there. And then once you get enough money, you can either go to a town that's selling land, or you can buy your land in the wilderness if you want to be a hermit. That's usually what I did. but. You get to choose that for yourself. I hope this tutorial was helpful for all of you new Eldeners, and I will probably be making more of these in the future. So, if you liked this tutorial, please give the video a like. I will be leaving the server IP for Elden in the description, 